Hey everyone. Wow, this was so much fun to do. I have I have not done a two-page spread in a large journal um, in, I think it's been several weeks. I, I don't even remember the last page that I did. Um, this is actually, well, this is the Large Dilutions Journal, and it is my second one. So I, I basically went all the way through my first one. Um, although I did kind of cheat just a little bit because I took out one of the signatures of paper because it was so fat that I just, I couldn't use all the paper. I, I couldn't, it, it, I just couldn't because it didn't lay flat anymore. So I ended up taking out one of the signatures and I'm still going through that. But, um, but I, I called it quits with that particular journal. <laughs> There's, Still a few blank pages in it, like towards the end of it, but uh, it's done. I can't use it anymore. I can't get it flat enough to do anything with. So here I am. This was so much fun to do. I pulled out three colors of the Distress Paint. And these, um, gosh, are they all colors? No, two of the colors are from last year, the new colors, and one is an older color and I just picked out colors that I thought would look pretty together and what I did was like the old distress paints that had like that that dabber thing on the top of it um, well I took all of those dabber tops off and I got the new lids that they have that you can use to like pour out the paint like any other like little paints and much 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 better so I'm very happy I'm glad that I did that and I think those lids might be new I think they might I saw Tim Holtz um, share them from um, from the whatchamacallit this year uh, what is it called darn it <laughs> oh my gosh yeah, I'll remember. You guys know what I'm talking about. That happened in January. Well, anyway, as you can see, I'm doing a very blocked effect. I just thought these colors look beautiful together, yet I didn't want any of them to be super solid. So I wanted to just like take some paint and put it all over the place. And I just thought that, the, you know, for a background that it looked really, really, really good. So I was really happy with it. Um, so the, and I hit it with the heat tool and the colors I used were picked raspberry and mermaid lagoon and cracked pistachio. Now I'm pulling out, um, a stamp set by Dina Wakely, as well as I'm just showing you the, the different big ink pads, which I've shared with you already, I think in my last video. Um, but I really, really like these ink pads because what they've done is they've taken their favorite colors, they meaning Dina Wakely, Tim Holtz, and Diane Reevely, and put them in this, this ink pad, but it's now archival ink, so it will not move with, with water. And, you know, when you're a mixed media artist, that, that can be a very good thing. You know, sometimes you want it to move, and that's fine too. But um, but in this case, I did not want it to move. So this stamp set I got at Michael's a couple weeks ago, and it was half price. And um, so you're going to see, I'm, I'm just going to take it. Again, this is Dina Wakely. And I'm just going to go around. And, and what I'm actually doing, and you can't see it, is, you know, that ink pad, so it has four different colors. And I'm just putting the stamp you know, over multiple colors at once. So it's not like I try to stick with one color per stamp. You know, I definitely uh, wanted to pick up multiple colors. And you can definitely see it there with that guy, right? You can definitely see it. So here we go. So you can see now. So I'm going to show you. So see, I'm picking up different colors. I'm not 
doing it where it has to be perfect. Um, I am putting my hand behind the left side just because this is the first page in, in this journal. And when I was pressing down, it just wasn't um, getting it, it good enough. Not that I need it perfect by any means. Um, I don't want it perfect, as a matter of fact, but I do want it on there. So now, as you can see, a lot has happened. And I apologize, but my my iPad it stopped filming. So I showed you right there. I took the, the Dina Wakely or that pad, I forget, is it Di Dilutions or Dina Wakely? But anyways, and I took a little um, stamp from Prima and did that background and put some of the white um, circles on it. And now I'm going to do some collaging. Yay, yay, yay. So I haven't um, really done large collaging in a while, right? Um, so... <laughs> When I cut this poor girl, I ripped her leg off. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that doesn't matter to me. I'll get it back on there. So um, you'll see I reattach her leg here. And you would never know that it was off. So that was not a problem. But it was fun to go through my stash. I have some stuff cut out. Some I don't have a lot cut out. I'm not one of those people that goes through all of my magazine and cuts out everything I like. I just, I just don't have that patience. And I give a ton of credit to people that do that. I admire them. I wish I could, but it's just not me. So here's some watches. Um, and there's four different colors of watches. And that girl is from, oh my gosh, from some ad. So are the watches. But that that face that's kind of like in the middle there, that's from um, a hospital ad that was sent in the mail. And I really liked the colors of it. So like when I get stuff like that, it's basically junk mail. But when it has pretty colors or something that really you know, pops that, that I really like, I'll hold on to it. And I just throw it into this little folder I have. And in this case, the colors really, really went well with the, the paints that I used. So I'll uh, go ahead and dry that up. And now you'll see it's even brighter. You know, <laughs> I realized I'm like, oh my gosh, one of my lights was not on. I never turned one of my lamps on. So now you can see a little bit better. Um, but anyway, so I pulled out my pit pens and I want to do some shading around um, all of the images that I cut. So I did start with a, a lighter color, uh, like a yellow chrome color, and it just wasn't going to pop enough. So I went with this dark gray and I, I like to use the big brush pit pens. I do have some of the, the, the very fine ones as well. And I like those, but for, for this, I like to use the big brush and that's what I have the most of is, is the big brush and her hair was a hoot to do. But what's really good about this kind of shading is not only does it make the images pop, but like I'm not, like I said, I'm not super patient. So even when I do cut out images, you know what? I'm doing it fast. I don't care. It's like, I just, I have no patience. So, so I may not cut as perfectly as I should, so this kind of covers up those little oopses. And I like that. It, it just makes it look better. That's all I can say is it makes it look better. Um, so I'll just go ahead and, whoops, and finish up the shading. And this is, I must say, one of my favorite little techniques to do. Um, when I learned how to do mixed media, I went uh, to a mixed media weekend at a place called the Cozy Crop House in Lidditz, Pennsylvania. And I thought I knew mixed media, but wow, I learned a lot those couple days. And one of the things that we did was we made a canvas um, with collaging and then with the 
the pit pens and did this shading and I was hooked, absolutely hooked. And that was in February of 2014, so just over two years ago. And collaging and doing the shading is still one of my favorite things ever to do. So I wanted to cover up those words up there, and you'll see that this little surprise, it, it comes off. It just, you know, I selected it because it would cover up the word aware on the top of this, like on this forehead. But then I'm like, surprise, well, it's like, it just didn't fit the page. I didn't like it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you'll see, I end up taking it off and you'll see, you'll see what I put there. I think it, what I replaced it with really looks so, so, so much better. So I'm really hitting it quite well with the heat tool at this point, just to get it nice and dry and now I'm going to go in with a white pit pen and I had to do this a few times the white pit pen really is very 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 nice I like it a lot um but like that was one reason I gave it a really really good dry it was because I didn't want the the um the media that I used to to get on that that white pit pen. So I ended up cutting out this flower from um, a calendar, and you can see my cutting is just awful. <laughs> just this. <laughs> but um, so I decided to put that on his head, kind of like a hat, right? And I thought that the color went well. I I liked it a lot. So I got it on there, I dried it up, I'm going to trim it off, and I like it. But now, of course, I have to get that pit pen again and definitely go around and edge that as well. So if you've never done that with a pit pen, you know, I highly recommend it. It's just, it's fun, it's messy, and I like messy and it smears really easy you know in the first few seconds you put it down it once it dries it's permanent um but i liked it so at this point i'm feeling really good about the page i like it i like everything that's on it um the colors all of the images really nice and of course i have to do some splattering so i pulled out some black um fluid acrylic deco art paint but then I realized oh you know what I needed to shake it is what I needed to do see how fluid it is right there it, it, like the paint was sitting at the bottom so anyway so once I got that I did my splattering and it just finishes the page so I hope that you enjoyed this. Um, it really was um, great to do this. And here are some photos for you. Um, let me know if you have any questions. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, I would love to have you. And have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.